Okay, so last week we really talked about like setting and why that's important. Um, and this week we're going to really move into what is plot because I feel like um, this is something new that's in fourth grade this year and you are starting to see some of these words. I know in some of our think up you, you've come to me and you're like, what is climax? I don't even know what that means. Um, and so I want to go ahead and have this while we're talking about fiction books. So plot is just simply is what is happening in the story. And so like we have our beginning and then we find out there's a problem and then there's like this big exciting turning point in the story and then things start to kind of calm back down and they get resolved. So you can kind of see a story is kind of like a mountain. It's flat and it gets up and exciting and then it comes back down. And so we're gonna talk about what these vocabulary words mean. First, we have exposition, which just means like the beginning of the story. Who's in the story? What is the setting? Those kinds of things. Um, and then we're gonna go up the mountain. And the way I want you to think about this is it is rising up the mountain. So the rising action is like the conflict or the problem that is happening in the story, right? So usually when we have a story, they're going to tell us the characters in the setting and where it's taking place. And then we're going to find out what the problem is in the story. Then we're going to have what we call the climax. It is like the turning point. It's the top of the mountain. It's the most exciting. Like it's all the drama field stuff is happening. We haven't solved the problem, but like big things are happening right before it does get solved. Then we have what we have called the falling action. So something happens after the climax, after the most exciting part, and then in the very end, our problem is solved. And the word you're gonna see is resolution, but if you look in resolution and take off that prefix, you have solution, and so that will help you remember that resolution just simply means solution. So we're gonna look at a little chart here today that um, is over some books we've already done to kinda help us understand. So this would be um, our rising action. This would be our climax. This would be the resolution. So it doesn't have the exposition and the following action in this one, but it kind of has the ups and the downs. So let's think about the book, The Other Side, with the two little girls who live on the opposite side of the fence and they really wanted to be friends. Um, the problem in the story was the girls were on different sides of the fence. It wasn't, um, and that kind of kept them from playing together. And so that was a big problem in this story. Uh, what happens is one of the climaxes is, is they decide to play together and that was a really big deal. That was a high point of the story because they've been separated this entire time. And then the resolution is um, that the fence is no longer a barrier to keep them from being friends. Like that fence is no longer a problem. So that's how the problem was solved. Um, think about the Dunderheads with Miss Breakbone. Do you remember the book about the kids who wanted to get the cat back we read earlier in the year? Um, the problem or the rising action would be Miss Breakbone takes the cat. Okay, that's a problem. Um, the climax would be the kids work together to get it back. So the climax is the part where they're like working together and they're trying to, um, to break in her house and all of those things. That's the climax, like the most exciting part of the story. But the resolution of when the problem was really solved, because the main problem is she took the cat that he wanted to give his mom for her birthday. So the problem is solved when the kid is able to give the cat to his mom for her birthday. So that would be the resolution to the story. So here's just, a, like I said, this is just a small little chart and it's missing the um, exposition and the falling action, but we could talk about some of the events, you know, between here, but these are the three, the three big ones is the rising action, the climax, and the resolution. Um, and so as we finish Dance with Starlight, you're gonna, um, we're gonna finish filling this in and you're gonna work a little bit on that also this week.